A warm welcome to Jobs Out The Box. Thank you for joining us today. A pleasure to have you all amongst our audience and a warm welcome to you, Jackie, especially for coming all the way out to join us. I'm Lionel Bourgeois. I'm your host, co-host, Hi, beautiful people. <laughs> and uh, we're very, we're certainly delighted uh, to have you in studio with us today. Mm -hmm. And we want to share with you, the audience, a different career that you might not have heard of before. And Jackie is a jewelry designer. So we brought Great. the diamond into the building. We brought the diamond <laughs> to the building indeed. <laughs> <laughs> so Jackie, what do you absolutely love about your job? Well, um, <laughs> that's about a 10 chapter um, answer. But <laughs> Let's start at chapter one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I basically swim in a treasure trove of gemstones every day mm. and I get to choose, to pick and choose the gemstones that go in, goes into our designs or into a customer design. Um, it's just the, the whole process of getting it together, doing the design, choosing the stones, advising the clients, yes or no, or this will work, that won't work, or making suggestions, and then them just saying, yes, I love that. So Your it's eyes sparkle as you talk about <laughs> it. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and, and what kind of stones are we talking about? Are we talking about building stones? What kind of stones are we talking about? <laughs> yeah, wishful thing. No, yeah. No, <laughs> Certainly so very expensive building stones. <laughs> we are talking about gemstones. So we, okay. so we talk about semi-precious or precious gemstones. Mm. So these are anything from diamonds to emeralds, sapphires, mm. Quartz stones, which is your smoky quartz, citrines, just to name a few. Okay. So it's not it's not your concrete or <laughs> <laughs> granite or anything they like could that. Be scrap <laughs> design <laughs> concrete jewelry. Yes. So, but so it's it's a bit more it's a bit more feminine and a bit more elegant <laughs> of the gemology part <laughs> of, of geology. So gemology is, um, is, the, is the female version of geology, if I can say it like that. Okay. <laughs> okay, I've been schooled here today. <laughs> yes, <laughs> indeed. Definitely. So <laughs> where do you get your creative ideas from? Lionel, I believe that it's a talent. So it's, it, it happens from anything from a picture that sparks an idea, mm -hmm. a stone that sparks a design. If customers send me three pictures that they like, I'm good at combining certain em elements okay. or it gives, it sparks the idea to say, okay, that's what you like. This is my idea. Okay. This is my version. Okay. Or, and um, it's, I think it's just the, I have the ability, I, I, I sometimes refer to myself as a color smith. It's, 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 it's um, combining the right, the correct colors of gemstones together okay. th with the correct oh, so color metal. No, <laughs> it's m more more referring to to gemstones. Yes. So it's picking the right gemstone for the right design, mm. and it's all about color. It's all about proportion. It's all about the design. So there's so, there's so much yes. There's so yeah. many elements to it. So yes. <laughs> you you explain this with such a smile on your face, and I want to know <laughs> what do you love about what what you do. Well, like I said, I really enjoy choosing the stones, the colors. I have an, a tremendous a love love for gemstones. Okay. So. Um, it's it's such a blessing to to be able to swim in this in this trove of gemstones yeah. every mm. day, and we've got quite a collection, so I can pick some lovely lovely pieces or specimens for clients, and. Um, Yes, and choosing if they say they like green, I say, okay, well, if you like green, there's there's options. There's there's a sulfurite, there's emerald, mm. there's tourmaline, and these are your options that you can choose lovely, from. So, lovely. it's just it's it's so it's so vast and so um, so interesting. It's just it's 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 a lovely it's a lovely industry to be in, and I think very undiscovered and very underrated. Well, that's mm. the reason why <laughs> you're here today. Yeah. So, yes. so, Jackie, you mm. obviously have a jewelry show, uh, store in uh, Franschhoek, but what got you started uh, in jewelry? I mean, you know. that's actually a very interesting story. Believe it or not, I I think I had an identity crisis when I was at school, which so I, I think <laughs> most kids have. <laughs> yes. yes, because you you are forced by sixteen to choose your subjects in a certain way mm. that it that it um, applies to the four four different parts of subjects so that you can go to university and then you've got to build something from that I mean who knows by 16 <laughs> what they really I'm really totally want to do eh? so I think I had the dollar signs in my eyes so I thought <laughs> let me do be, let me do accountancy can you imagine me no. wow, <laughs> so, accounting so in I this. thought yes let me do accountancy and then I really loved economics I was I was a wizard economics at school hmm. um, and then, and then I thought, well, if it's not economics, maybe be called marketing. So 
Well, what I I did I did enroll for accountancy. So my NGO marks weren't hundred percent. So I was about a symbol below of what I should have. <laughs> and I could have done what they call in Afrikaans it with bridging course. Yes, yeah, yeah. And then I said, No, this is a sign, I shouldn't do this. <laughs> and then I said, Let me try become marketing because it feels like marketing there's a bit of a creative aspect to it. Mm. There's a business and a creative aspect to it. I enrolled, I started I quit after six months. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! So actually, my dad asked me, "Can you please finish?" I said, "Well, if I if I quit with the first semester, though, you can actually get off. The, you you only have to pay for the first semester." He <laughs> says, "Okay." <laughs> so then, and then I realized, okay, this is Plan C now, because I actually did go to psychologists where they do the psychometric tests. Okay. So they said. They actually said the first choice is jewelry design combined with graphic design. Wow, okay. Then become marketing and then become accountancy. But I think my will to do accountancy was so strong and that's why it came through in my tests. Okay. And that's where that's where the idea of jewelry design came to me because it were I was told this is actually your first choice. This the, the combo of graphic design and jewelry design so, should so be good. So don't underestimate you. a psychometric mm. test. Yes, yes. Yeah. Me, uh, I, I, I do believe in those. So, <laughs> and then, and then I realized Plan C. I literally did Plan A didn't work out. I, plan B, I started. No, no, it wasn't for me. And then Plan C, I enrolled, and. I luckily had time to f to to still do to uh, enroll for 2006 because okay. I I started in 2005 at the university in Stellenbosch. Okay. And then I got in, and I think it was a miracle because when I heard afterwards, they said only less than 10 percent of the people that applied got in, and over 200 people. Wow. Got wow. Things in. turned so out for you good. Huh? Yes. Yeah, so 18 got accepted for the jewelry design course. Hmm. So I knew this. This is this is it. This is fate. This is the plan. I need to do it, wow. and I loved it from the get go. It's it's a creative. It's a creative um, industry, okay. but or 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 uh, what they call ambach or uh, occupation. Yes. Okay. But you physically make something, hmm. and you can wear it, and you can enjoy it. So my exam pieces were jewelry pieces. Hmm. So we right. did exhibitions. So you you, you of put your hands to magic at that time. Yes, yeah, so okay. I wasn't just writing an exam, giving it, handing it in, and never seeing it, and getting this yeah. mark. Yes. It's like, well, <laughs> that's what I get for what I've done. <laughs> my friends were always, I'm so jealous. You, you get to actually wear your yeah. exam pieces. So, so you fight your oh, um, jewelry heist. Yes, okay. and it's the the course is it's actually the jewelry BA in jewelry manufacturing and design. It's it's walking distance from here. Uh -huh, so so you, you yes, <laughs> yes, you knew exactly where yes, you had to come yes. this morning. Yes. So and um, right, right, actually attached to the Nielsen is the visual arts department's yes. building. So and yes, and I just loved it. It's. Um, I, kn I knew it, it was what I needed, and my mark showed it because when yeah. I started Beacon Marketing, I was failing everything. <laughs> so <laughs> that, that was, was a also sign. a sign. <laughs> I see everything as signs. Yeah. So it's like, okay. Life so is like that. Yes. You need to know <laughs> where to go left or right. And literally from there, um, it's a four year degree. So you can go, okay. it's actually an honors degree kind of in one. So okay. you can go straight to a master's degree. And only a, a hand few do their PhD. You can actually do a PhD in jewelry design. Okay. So it's interesting as well. Yes. Interesting. Okay. Mm. And from from that, you know, um, we everybody wakes up every morning and they mirror, they look into the mirror. But where do you get your greatest? Um, who is your greatest mentor in life? From my, all of this, my greatest mentor in life is the typical one, Sir Richard Branson, which is actually one of my okay, customers. Right, okay. well, wow. to mine too. I'm, I'm super <laughs> humbled by that. So <laughs> I read his books and I, I I really do follow what he says. Hmm. Um, I follow a bit what Warren Buffett says. You know, just just in terms of you know how he, he's very into the balance of life and okay. Elon Musk and how you should how you should, um, you know, the balance and how you should treat your staff. Or wow. And I really like Sir Richard Branson's theory where he says your, 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 your staff is your most important entity. Mm, where the old school, I always found that they said the customer is the yeah, most important. Which is wrong at Which times. is coupled with the, the theory that the customer is always right. Correct, mm. which is mm. <laughs> tricky. But yeah. the physical mentor is actually the previous owner of the business. I used to work for them. So she has been rock solid throughout 
throughout the six years and me transitioning into the job. So I could always pick up the phone and ask her, what do I do here? And she's always available for me, always Beautiful. to chat. Wow, so Beautiful great great relationship. Yeah. Yes, mm. and she really understands the industry. You can't get a construction guy to give you advice on a jewelry, on a jewelry <laughs> shop <laughs> or a jewelry no, absolutely. business. So, so, uh, so Jackie, if, the, if, the, you know, if there was somebody who'd be interested in going to the industry, wh what, what would your advice be? I mean, what would they need to do? So you know, any hopefuls? Yes, yeah. it is a dying industry, but it's such a lovely industry. Why? Why a dying hmm. industry? <laughs> I think handmade stuff tends to go, tends to die out because of all the technology. Of course, oh, no. and uh, I think you know I was so blessed that my parents allowed me to study what I studied because a lot of parents say no, you're going to become a lawyer, you're going to yeah. become an accountant. Mm. So there's kind of this this social pressure also from society, which I had the identity crisis, and then but my parents never forced me; they just yeah. let me go with the flow. Which again mm. goes in keeping with why jobs out the box has come about. Yes. It's really to say, hey, there's so much out there. Many you know, why, why are we conforming to what society or what our teachers or you know are saying? I mean, there's so much out there and go out there and find it, you know, and we're just yes. exposing it. So there's, there, there are actually various ways to approach it. So okay. you can go and study at CPUT. They, they've got a two-year diploma course. You can go on for a third year and you can even study additional courses with them mm -hmm. where you can go up to about six years. Our, our full-time goldsmith at the shop did her full, full years and she, she did about six years with CPUT. I studied at the university. Um, TPUT is a lot more technical based, where the university is a lot more creative based. You okay. have your te you have your creative, your drawing, your um, and then your technical. Hmm. So it's a lot focused on design, thinking out of the box, mm -hmm. wow. and then applying it to your technical theory. Like this is how you do this. So take what you've learned okay. and apply it in a in a in a creative or out of the box thinking hmm. project. So, so my, my guess is that you kind of you fearing a bit of technology in view of design that we're losing the craftsmanship, the handmade craftsmanship versus technology. Or is there a fear? I, I picked up there was yes. a bit of fear for yes, you. Yes, there yeah. is. Um, but I think there's still a way. You still need a bit of the the handmade aspect. You need a f you need a physical person to work off the piece of jewelry. Yeah, to, and to why to would work that it be? Off. Well. There's a process from okay. manufacturing. So you shape the metal, you shape your piece, and then you have to either set your stones off, or if it's it's not set with stones, you have to work it off, polish it, and so there's a process. Mm. So the finishing process is normally, if you in fine jewelry, is working it off to to polishing. Uh, to a polishing. You're no doubt wearing your own jewellery today. I mean, yes. uh, your, your, your <laughs> ring is just yes. sparkling yeah. and looking yes. absolutely stunning. <laughs> and are you selling and it today or not? <laughs> <laughs> well, not that it's you can it's afford it's it anyway, <laughs> could you? <laughs> so, uh, and to answer the question, if I, if I have a bit of time, yeah. you can also go on then and do a two-year apprentice. You can actually go straight to doing apprentice. Mm -hmm. What they do, you work with a journeyman. Or you can do either study at CPUT or Stellenbosch, but I believe it's good to get the student life, get experience of the student life. And okay. after that, you can go and do your apprentice for two years and then decide whether you want to be a nine to five bench jeweler. Men are really good at goldsmiths because they are very routine key creatures. Okay. Women are a lot more creative. Okay. So what I found is through, I the hard, <laughs> through the hard way is that I'm not a nine to five jeweler. I don't want to sit at the bench. I, I'm a very emotional being, so if I feel emotional, I'm going to screw up the piece. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> let's just let's just be straight. So then I like the designing, I like the sourcing of the stones, I like the quoting because I'm 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 a, I think I'm a bit of an anomal anomaly. Yes. So I'm a creative creature, but I'm also a, a numbers person. I'm yes. good with business. I'm good. So I've got both. So Ooh. I'm very lucky in that sense. Jack of all trades. No, Jane of all trades. Jack of all trades. So, so yes, I, I like the variety. Yes. I can do bench sense. work. Yeah. I can do bench work. Bench work is what we is the term or the industry term for working at the bench and manufacturing a piece. Okay. But that's very much what the, where the new uh, the new generation is going. They, yes. they don't want one fixed mm. job. Yes. They, they, they want the variety. Yeah. It's the concept of, yeah. uh, you know, I want to work and live at the same time versus I just yes. want to work and then I'll live when I retire. Yes. You know, so the whole concept has changed. So it's it's great that you know you blending mm. in both 
work and play or work yes. and, and, li and life you mm. know, together. It's beautiful. And where the technology come in is, comes in is with CAD. So we okay. also have, it's called 3D aided design. So uh, CAD is abbreviation for computer aided design. Yes. Okay. So you get it for architecture, you get it for engineering, but you also get it for jewelry. So I've got a program where I, I can do it. I can design from scratch. You send it in for printing and casting. So that's where the technology come in, comes and in. And that saves you a lot of time, obviously. It does, and it's very accurate. Okay. And there's nothing wrong with it at all. Okay. okay. Uh, let me just be very clear. As long as it's quality, it's not too thin. Yeah. It's it's um, it can be worn for a lifetime. Then that's okay. There's n there's nothing wrong with it. I'm so sorry, to, but then my guess is the the CAD got the the, uh, the the CAD design. Um, you're able to show a client live what a yes. piece of jewelry looks like without you having to manufacture it as yes. was in the olden days, mm. where you'd manufacture and they say, oh, I don't like it. They have to go back and rechange, yes. which would take endless time and effort and, and cost. And this you yeah. Yeah. Whereas a lot now, of time, now you can mm. actually see mm. the ring in 3D as if it's real, even though it hasn't been manufactured. Mm. What I found with our mature clients is they struggle to visualize things. So okay. then I say, okay, let me quickly do a CAD design for you. I send them screenshots. You can, I can do a video where I can do in the perspective view. I yeah. can turn it around 3D, upside down, show it from the bottom to the side, Beautiful. Okay. and then do a, a screenshot. And then, and that that usually seals the deal. Okay. Wow. Okay, mm. and it Great. saves a lot of time. Yes. Um, but besides jewelry design, what are the other related jobs that one can find um, if they want to pursue in this uh, profession? So you could be a goldsmith, you okay. could be a designer, you could be a sales executive combined with a designer, and then you can also go into the industry of gemology. You can study further through GIA, which is Gemolo Gemological Institute of wow. America. Okay, well, that's, that's quite a mouthful. Wow. It's, it's <laughs> tongue tired. We'll, we'll get to, we'll get to Lisa to repeat <laughs> yes. They're a very popular laboratory house, non-profit yes. organization, okay. and they certify all gemstones. And you, they do courses. So I've done a lot of their um, core, their base courses, mm -hmm. and then I can go on to do the more um, advanced. Then, if I do that, I will be a, a qualified. I call it a GGG. It's a graduate gemologist. Okay. But you, you can go further. If you, if you, to be called a gemologist, you do a lot of lab work. It's very scientific. So there's okay. lots of stages that you go through to test your stones. Then what I enjoyed is I was a production assistant or a production manager. So Ali Hayes with the, the, the client, do the designs, source the stones, do the quotes, and then I go to the workshop and say, this is what you need to do. Okay. This, is, this, is, this is your job. So we talk about a job, so you get a job or a makeup, and then mm -hmm. I have to make a piece up according to the instructions. Nice. Talking, talking about lab work, does a scientist also have a space in this field? Cause Yes, so that's where if you're a scientist, you should be. If you love science, mm. you will love gemology. Mm. It's so interesting, the, like the absorption spectrum. You, we talk about there's a polariscope. You, you the UV rays of what certain stones can can show up, like certain synthetic stones show up as as a white blue under UV okay. rays, and the microscope. Every, yeah, and every stone yes. has a different en energy as well. Yes, yeah. and um, you or can also as yes, well. yeah. and then. Then you can also, under a microscope, you can see certain inclusions. Inclusions okay. are the impurities that form during nature or in a laboratory because okay. synthetic stones are actually laboratory grown. They're exactly the same thing as the natural, but it's man-made versus nature. Mm. And then they have certain types yeah, of yeah. inclusions. You can see it in the microscope. You can see the growth lines if it's, for example, a lab grown. Okay. Or certain inclusions, like for a diamond, can often show a, carb a piece of black carbon, mm. which is a, a typical type of inclusion you can get in a diamond. Wow. But of so. course, the, the ultimate diamond is the pure diamond. Yes. If there is such a of thing. Course. <laughs> of course. Great. So as a business owner, Jackie, what advice would you care to share uh, to our audience? Another 20 chapter answer. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have another five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> we have well, all the time. There are no, so we many don't. elements. There <laughs> yeah. are so many elements to it. It comes to staff. It comes to it comes to running the business just in general. I say with staff, choose your battles. There's okay. always a gray area. You're dealing with people. It's mm. not always black and white. Treat them with respect. They're the most important entity in your business. 
and do your goals every year. Um, wow. Like the previous lady also said, you know, do your vision board. This is your goals. Mm. And by the way, on Saturday, I wrote in my goals, I would like to do an interview. Well, wow. there we go. It yeah, yeah, was actually for my diary of 2022. I didn't expect it to happen in C quite as quickly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Three, oh, four days after I wrote it down. Well, there we go. Receiving Things the work. call from you. So yeah. And with financials, I would say, you know, I've had a, quite a baptism of fire. Just take it day by day. Get people on your side or in your team to mm. help you. If you yeah. don't know, ask for help. True. Don't be shy to ask for help and don't be shy and have a really good relationship with your suppliers because Confident. when times true. get tough, true. they will carry you. And yeah. I can, I'm, I'm a living example of that because it's been a quite a yeah. tough two years and, of and they should have actually shut me down. So, and they haven't. But they haven't. They haven't. So, Jackie, uh, I, I know that you've got a specific brand in your jewellery. Yes. I mean, you do, I think it's mm. a Daisy jewellery. Yes, it's our signature design. D correct. Mm. Do you want to tell us a little, bit mo a little bit more on how you developed this brand? So, the Daisy was born from, it, it just kind of happened. So, what happened was, I'm not the original founder of the business, okay. but I have the same type of passion. So, Kathy was the original founder of the business okay. and she, w she went for a jewelry evening course and she did a plain silver ring with daisies on top of it, five daisies and everyone loved it. And, it, and that's how the brand developed. It literally went from that ring that she made in her course and where people saying, or a friend saying, yes, we really love that. Mm, and then she said, grown, eh? well, s people really love daisies. It's happy, it's joyful. Correct. And they, they Spring, symbolize yeah. innocence and purity. Yes. Mm. And just a fun fact, the only place on earth where you, where you can't find daisies is in Antarctica. Mm. Oh, and how's that? a lot of daisies are edible. So they, 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 they're so, so you have, So you do functional jewelry? <laughs> <laughs> yes. In case you're so hungry, see you always she hungry. She can serve can it on her plate. <laughs> yes, so daisies are happy. They, they're fun, they're joyful. They, the start of spring or summer. Okay. So it's just, it's overall oh, just. I love, I love that. I, I yes. love that concept. Yes. Jackie, thank you so much. Thank you're you for welcome. your time. I this mean, you know, uh, you know, when you came, I thought, okay, jewelry designer. Okay, so let's see where that takes us. And you've <laughs> taken us on a on a whirlwind yeah. trip uh, yeah. of you know what involved what's involved in your industry and your profession. Yeah. So she gave us treasure. Uh, she gave us treasure, yeah. absolutely. Yes. And I really hope this inspires people to to look into this industry as an option. Well, and that's to please call me if they want to. Well, there we go, and, yeah. and that and that's the whole idea. You know, the the mm. uh, the whole concept of jobs mm. out the box is really to showcase mm. you know that it's there's more to this and, and you know we, we, we n number one we don't know that I mean we might know that a jewelry design exists mm. but we don't know really what's it about mm. yes. and and you've shared this beautifully uh, I mean if, mm. if there was anybody in the audience that wasn't inspired by what you said to us well then mm, <laughs> I don't know because I was inspired right. I'm sure I you was were. blown away yeah, yeah. I was blown away. so and because it's a dying industry it's so important that we empower the next generation correct to continue we, yes we should yeah. teach our we should teach our staff we should teach the students what we know and not and it's so important to pass on your knowledge yeah that's why we are here to give this industry yes, life. Yes, it's a great yeah. industry and that's what I believe in. It's one of my mottos to empower your staff and mm. to empower and, and teach them what, what you know. Beautiful. Mm. Again today, not again, but thank you for joining us on Jobs Out The Box. Uh, it was a real, a real pleasure having you uh, with us and sharing your knowledge and sharing the knowledge with the audience. Um, Thank you. I, kn I know, you know you're a busy lady, you're running a business and to give up your time, we deeply appreciate it. To you all in the audience, thank you so much for joining us at Jobs Out The Box, another exciting episode of what you could be doing as a jewelry designer. So thank you, bless you all, and uh, we'll see you again next episode of Jobs Out The Box.